Hello, hello everybody. This is Mommy with Flowers by the Bunch. Today I'm going to make a sympathy arrangement and I'm actually going to use this wooden church container that we have here in the store. So these are handmade by a sweet little lady who comes by and sells her crosses and her containers. And so, um, we're going to put an arrangement in this container. Now it is a box, a wooden box container. So I wanted to show you what I will use. This is a design bowl. It's a long, low design bowl. It's a um, green plastic, very inexpensive, like $3. I have used a little bit less than a full block of fresh floral foam. It has been soaked in water and I taped it in place so it's not going to go anywhere. Now the nice part about this is it will just drop right down into this container um, and it holds really well. It's not going to fall out. Nothing's going to happen to it um, and you can add water to that reservoir so it, your flowers will last. So I'm going to start out using a little bit of leather leaf um, fern for greenery. So I'm just going to take um, a little leather and I am just going to break it and I'm going to add it to my container. So we're going to um, make this arrangement kind of low. Nothing too tall. I don't want to um, cover up my container, so it's always important that you don't do it anything too tall. But I'm just taking my um, leather leaf and I'm using my fingernail and I am just breaking that greenery. And just tucking it in. Now, I tell you, we love using these design bowls. They work great for centerpieces. Um, they work great for a liner similar to this. Um, they're just really nice. We actually purchased those from um, a floral supply. Um, it was called, it's called Direct Floral. Um, you can find their website online. Um, but it really, they work out great. They're inexpensive and that's even better because you get to put more flowers in, more money into your flowers. Okay, so there's my leather leaf. So I've just gone all the way around to cover my foam. And again, I'm gonna make everything as low as possible because I don't, I want you to be able to see the church, okay? Um, next, I'm gonna come in with a little bit of Nandina. So Nandina is a shrub that just grows <laughs> here in our yard. Um, and I like to cut it um, and use it in floral design. Um, the nice part about Nandina is it's long lasting and I love its lacy look. Um, so I'm just going to tuck a little bit of Nandina into my arrangement. I love its texture. I think it has a wonderful texture. Um, and the nice thing about it too, in the fall it has berries, a pretty red berry. It also, um, it also the, the foliage kind of colors up a little in the fall, so it kind of gets to be a pretty autumn color. Um, and we cut it a lot. I mean, we use it a lot and it grows pretty fast. So it's really a nice shrub to have. If you don't have it in your yard, you need to go and purchase you some Nandina to put in your yard because it's a wonderful little foliage. So there's our Nandina tucked in. See how it's kind of lacy and pretty, a light green. Okay, next I'm gonna come in with a little bit of lined flower. Now the line flower I chose, so they wanted this arrangement in pinks, shades of pink. So this is stock. Um, it's kind of a pinky mauve color, just a really pretty stock. It smells beautiful. Um, so I'm going to take and cut that stem at an angle and tuck that right down into that foam. Again, I want to make sure that you can see my container. Um, I don't want it too, too tall. All right, so 
there's our pink or our mauve colored stock. Now stock usually doesn't come in like a true pink, but that mauve really is pretty, isn't it? So, so pretty. Okay, next we're gonna come in with some roses. So this variety is called Titanic. It's a, a pretty baby girl pink is what I would call it. Um, it's just a really pretty, and I'm gonna pull off some of the petals that are bumped or bruised, but just a pretty baby girl pink. So we're gonna tuck some of those in. So I have these Titanic pink roses. I'm gonna take and pull off any of the petals that are bumped or bruised, toss those away. And I am going to use a florist wire. I'm gonna press it into the calyx, which is the little swollen part up underneath the head of the rose. And I'm gonna twist that right around that stem. Now what this wire does is it's insurance. It's going to make sure that that little head does not get too heavy. Often if a flower does, if a rose doesn't get enough um, hydration, that stem gets limp and those little heads get heavy. And so, um, I like to wire them just to make sure that those little heads aren't gonna get too heavy for the stems. I'm just taking that wire, okay? I know it looks like I'm pulling off a lot of those petals, but it's really not gonna hurt this rose. You just wanna make sure um, that the petals don't have bumps or bruises. <laughs> you will find that when you use lighter colored roses, that if they have been bumped, the light color really shows any of the bruises. And so um, you wanna be careful with that to go ahead and remove any bumps or bruises. So this is called Lizzyanthus. It's a pretty soft pink Lizzie. So I'm gonna tuck a few of these stems. Now I love Lizzyanthus. I love its little buds. It's just so sweet. So I'm gonna take it and pop that stem and then just tuck those little blooms right down into this arrangement. So I'm just taking and I'm just tucking this Lizzyanthus just kind of throughout the arrangement. All right, so there's our Lizzyanthus, and I'll bring this arrangement a little closer to the camera so you can see. And look at the movement. See how that Lizzie moves? So pretty. Next, we're going to come in with um, some Scabiosa flowers. So, Scabiosa um, actually comes in the floral, I mean like a little flower, like a little bloom. And it also comes in a pod. You can get a scabiosa pod, which is so fun and so interesting to work with. Kind of a little gray pod. Um, but this is the flower, the scabiosa flower. Now they do come with these little straws on them, like a little plastic straw. I am removing those, um, but you can leave them on. The nice part about those little straws is they're clear. So you, you, you could leave them on and it wouldn't be a bother at all. But I do kind of like the way the, the stems kind of bend and have their own, own little movement. So I'm kind of coming down the center of that arrangement with that scabiosa. Um, all right. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to add to this arrangement is a little bit of holly fern. Um, so holly fern is just a variety of fern, but I thought it might be pretty to have a few pieces of this holly fern just kind of um, kind of sticking out over here. So I stripped off some of the bottom leaves. To add a little bit of color, I grabbed um, some little white daisies. I thought that I would tuck them kind of deep down into this arrangement. So I'm just pulling that daisy off that stem, cutting that at an angle. All right, so here is our finished arrangement. The flowers we chose include um, the mauve colored stock, pink titanic roses, um, pink lisianthus, and that's the flowers you see moving when I kind of move the arrangement, those pretty lisianthus blooms. We used scabiosa, scabiosa flowers kind of coming down the center of this arrangement. And then to fill in and give some depth, I added a few little blooms of white daisies. The foliage that I used includes leather leaf, 
a little bit of Nandina foliage I cut out of the yard and holly fern. Guys, thank you so much for being here with me today. If you have any questions about how I put this arrangement together or anything we do here at our flower shop, you know you can always ask. You can ask right here. Um, just drop a comment right down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to our channel, please hit that subscribe button down below and hit that little bell and you'll get notifications for when we have a new video. Thanks guys. Hope you have a great day.